Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I have the July 15th update of Ubuntu Touch and my kitten is running around everywhere. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alright, so when you unlock straight away and I think the first thing I'm going to do is turn my brightness down. There you go, that should make it a bit easier for you guys to see. Um, one of the panels has been moved. So originally there were five there was your home screen, there was a, a kind of like a people type one, and then there was music, uh, then there'd be apps and videos, but the people kind of one to the left of home has disappeared. I'm not sure if that's specific to this build. This build is of the 12th. They haven't done any builds after the 12th, I'm not sure whatever reason why, but um. This is the latest build as of this video shooting. So um, let's let's kind of just get down to it. Uh, one of the first things about well, sorry, one of the first things about these newer builds is um, they're called, they're what's called flipped builds. Is on previous versions of Ubuntu, what it would sorry my kitten's being noisy. Um, what it would do is it boot into Android or Sanjay mod actually. It'd boot into there to uh, it would boot into Android specifically Cyanogen mod, and then it'd kind of like run Ubuntu, and I think it's in a ch root uh, above that. And now it boots Ubuntu, and then it kind of runs Android kind of through that to get ADB running and everything. It, it's very technical, and I don't quite understand it. But that's why they're called flip builds. Um, basically, since these are flip builds, I'm seeing much in, much improved performance. Like, really improved performance. Um, I, I'm trying to like think of things to show you, but it, it's all just so really good. Uh, the first thing I'm going to um, <coughs> show you is if we go into the uh, apps page. Here we go. Uh, obviously the frequently used ones are the same and if we go down to uh, installed apps you'll see there's a lot more than there used to be and this is great so now there is actually a clock uh, and it, it doesn't seem very interesting a normal clock but this is at the second hand moving round uh, current location if I scroll back up tap on here alarm timer stopwatch and it's a very um, Beautiful and it very it fits in with the Ubuntu Touch design aesthetic. Uh, next is eBay. eBay is just a link to the mobile site, though it's nice to have it on the home screen as if it were an app. Uh, go back. Facebook is the same thing, but Facebook has always kind of been here. Is it? It was always in the sidebar here. And again, sorry about the noise you might hear in the background. That's just my kitten. So if we go back, what else? Uh, there's now a farm manager, which is mental, if you think about it. it well, it, it, it's not, but it kind of is. Yeah. It, this is just so, so odd for me to see. Uh, uh, and it, 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 it's an Ubuntu farm manager. It looks like it was built to be in Ubuntu, and obviously it was. It's just, it's just crazy. It, it, it's cool. I like it. It it definitely, it definitely goes in with the rest of the design aesthetic. Uh, friends. Now I couldn't get this to work because I couldn't sign into any of my accounts. But whoops. Uh, I'm guessing this is like a social aggregation tool. Obviously, that's what notifications are like. That's for Twitter. Um, that's not Twitter. That's a SMS from Twitter. Um, like I said, this is. Uh, this is the friends app, so I'm guessing it's like a, a social messaging like app. So your Twitter mentions and app and direct messages and your Facebook message. I'm, I'm guessing it's stuff like that. Uh, if we go back over here, uh, pardon me, uh, gallery Gmail, that's the same. Music is like a placeholder app, it doesn't actually do anything, it's just like a white page. Notes has always been here. There you go. That is now a note. 
and it's kind of photorealistic. If I bring it up, you can see it's a different shade. Like the background's white and the note is yellow. And it's, it's ever so slightly textured at the top, like ripped. So just when iOS is getting rid of it, Ubuntu adopts it. Hey ho, what can you do? Um, phone, that's the standard uh, Ubuntu dialer. Looks very nice, nice big buttons. Ski Safari, it's a game. I, I never really got into it, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, meh. System settings. This is something I've been wanting in Ubuntu for so, 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 so long. Sorry guys, I just realised off camera for a second. Um, it's something I've been wanting in Ubuntu for a long time. It's a centralised um, settings. Obviously, I'm guessing this is going to get more fleshed out later on. But for what is here, it's actually really good. So you've got a flat mode toggle, GPS toggle, rotation lock. Uh, now we've got the network settings, so like Bluetooth, cellular, Wi-Fi. Uh, accessibility back and so the next bit is personal so accessibility backgrounds so the background one is quite cool you can have like the same background for your home screen and your welcome screen or you can have different ones so if you go here and again these are all just kind of like the if do you remember the first round of Ubuntu apps they were all like this buttons you tapped on them and nothing happened that's kind of what this is here they're placeholders um yeah same with the keyboard you open up it's a blank screen nothing's here um but the fact that there's there there is a settings app, which I've been <laughs> I I won't say moaning about. I'll say um, loudly. Yeah, screw it. No, I've been moaning. I've been <laughs> I've been moaning about getting a proper settings app in Ubuntu for a long time, uh, and now there's finally one here, so that we can now control the brightness. Like, if I can get it to go. So it's a bit, yeah, see, it's, it's definitely buggy. There's no way around that, unfortunately. And again, see that it's not completely bug free because obviously these should be live previews. You know, they're just black cards. Um, so obviously that's that. I'm going to leave that. Next is a bit, not worrying, a bit odd. It's uh, it's a terminal app, so and obviously you can run as root. You can do anything like that. This is a, it's a typical like this is a terminal app. It's similar to the terminal emulator you get in Android. It's like the it was community developed and now it's actually in Ubuntu phone. There's an official terminal. Uh, next, Twitter, same as before. Ubuntu one, kind of the same as before. It's like uh, it's like Dropbox but made by Ubuntu. Uh, here is the weather, so current location, um, yeah, screw it, why not, there you go, I think I'm in London, but close enough, and currently we get a nice little animation there, uh, oh, mm, sorry, uh, the max today was 23, it's currently 19, and the lowest was 17, uh, yeah, now it's going to show you some tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And oh, it's going to be nice and hot until Monday. Then it's going to start raining again. But hey, I can do the rest of the week being hot. <laughs> uh, next is just, again, it's just a toggle, nothing actually happens. Banshee is a music app, but again, nothing happens. Commands, nothing happens. Home, nothing happens. Music, rhythm box, videos, and videos. The funny thing is, Banshee and rhythm box are actual proper Ubuntu apps like desktop Ubuntu apps. So I'm wondering how they've wiggled their way in here. Uh, and last but not least, these, again, just still do nothing. So YouTube, Pinterest, Wikipedia, Maps, SoundCloud, and Evernote still do nothing. So I'm going to quickly see that this is another bug. If you try and close apps, so that's how you, you tap on it, and you hit the X of whichever one you want to close. So if you, usually it just close it and that's it. But on this build, if you tap it, oh, well now it's working. But as you saw a minute ago, it will do that. It will jump to that app, which is not really what you want. So you've got, oh, so you've got to close it in reverse. Oh, I don't like that. That's odd. That's very odd. But um, all right then, if we go to next thing, this is still the videos tab, not changed at all. Find a video you like. There you go. You can see the, the trailer. Uh, there we go. Uh, what I was going to show is the browser. The browser is 
phenomenal on this. Like, strangely good. If I'm, I'm gonna quickly pop to the verge, because well, theirs is quite a notoriously heavy site. Um, I'm gonna quickly load up to the full, the full desktop uh, site, and then you can kind of see, you can kind of see what I mean about, ha like, <laughs> I'm trying to think how I can say this without it sounding odd. For what this is, this is a, this is still a developer preview. This is not an open beta. This is not anything like that. This is still purely for developers. So I probably shouldn't even really be using this. But let's have a yeah. It's look look at those animations. It's if I if I find a um let's just try and find a video. So this one new Apple TV sales should. Reportedly include ad skipping technology. If I just um, oh, pardon me, uh, like look at that pinch to zoom. It's definitely buggy because like th this is still most certainly beta. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, this is still most certainly beta. But, it's usable. <laughs> there, there's definitely no other way around that. I mean, the camera still works, so I'm going to quickly turn around and take a photo of the kitten. Hey, Domino. There you go. So if I go back here and just jump back to the gallery... There you go, uh, events, photos. There's a picture of my kitten I just took. Simple. If we go back, and then we go to camera. So again, it's fine if you switch it round. There we go, the camera's now back. Uh, video camera, flash. So, yeah, I think one of the um, a comment on one of the last videos was to get me to comment on the uh, the HUD, the heads up display, and I'm trying to think of anything I'd really use the HUD. So I'm going to take a picture here of the the desk. Yeah, I'm going to open this up, and then I'm going to open up the HUD. And the way you HUD, open up the HUD is you gesture from the bottom, and you see a magnifying glass lit up on the screen. Drag your finger in the centre of that, and open up. And this is the heads-up display. So you get up, you get separate options here. So you can delete it. You can share it, so you can attach it to separate things. You can add it to a photo or an album. You can undo whatever you've done, or you can uh, do stuff like that. So and the way to close it is to do this. Slide down from the top. I've got another SMS from Twitter. If I um, quickly slide up from the bottom and I go edit. Let's try this. There you go. Now if I try and crop. Yeah, see look, the HUD is a bit broken in this. Tapping that sheet key should open up the um uh the microphone and let me Yeah, see look, it, it's see this is this is why I said it's still very much a developer preview and it's now just almost completely frozen on me. Which is just absolutely lovely, and I was gonna, I was gonna use it for the rest. So I'm, I'm just gonna quickly like carry on running some specs while this tries and figures itself out. I'm gonna quickly just leave that there, and I'm just gonna talk about this on the um, Nexus 4 as is. So they've done quite a few under the hood improvements. They've improved battery. They've, uh, they've actually added standby, which is remarkable that it wasn't added in to begin with. Um, but hey ho, um, but so yeah, they've improved battery. There's now calls coming in, and as as you see, there's quite a few texts. Um, it all just kind of works, and I'm baffled that it kind of works, but I'm happy. So this has kind of been a bit of a rushed video. I'm sorry about that, guys, and it turned out to be like 15 minutes long, but um. 
Yeah, this is the Ubuntu Touch developer preview for July 15th. And I don't know if I posted it on YouTube or if I just did it on my like social networks and stuff. I'm going to be doing a challenge. So every month on the 15th, so the middle of the month, I will be uh, downloading Ubuntu Touch. I'll be flashing onto my phone and I'll be using it for a couple hours, just like I have here. And then I will give you guys a video. So like I said, this, this one hasn't gone so well because the device and the OS is kind of frozen. Uh, the device hasn't because I can still turn the screen on and off. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's frozen. But I'm, I'm still looking forward to this thing so goddamn much. Um, when it's all finalized and now, now the settings up is there, I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing it. I, I'm seeing the dream come alive, which makes me really happy. Now I'm just waiting for a proper SMS app and I'll be, I will be golden to like use it. I will use this as like a one week on a challenge, like only use Ubuntu Touch. I would do that when it's fully done. Actually, if you guys want me to do that in October, once this is completed, like, write in the comments. Why not? So, like I said, this has been the Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview July 15th edition. Uh, you can get me on the website, which is www.mobile-dom.co.uk. You can get me on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can circle me on Google+, Plus, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And... Yeah, well, that's about it. So, toodle pip, guys.